Hi everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs. In today's video, I wanted to show you some more wiper cards that I have done and assemble one of them. So I've got a couple more. These have been so popular. I can't believe how many people like these. This is my beehive one. It's just because when you open it up, you have a little bee and some more daisies that fly out. So really fun little card. This is our Hello Friend Ladybug card. When you pop it open, you just get some more flowers. And I'm really excited about these. They all have the printable sentiments. And today I wanna to show you how I assembled the Easter one. Now, I've already done a video assembling these, but these last few that I've done and the ones that are on my work desk now have a little bit more pieces. And so I wanted to just show you how to layer them. The assembly is still the same. So we're just gonna slide this out. Um, this one says, you are some bunny special, and I actually printed two of them off because I didn't want to lose it. And then the first thing that we're gonna assemble is our basket that goes on the front of the card. So let me just show you how to do that. And I've got all the layers here. So the first layer is this white piece. And this is just kind of so that you know how to lay everything out. So I'm going to go ahead and take my little Easter eggs. And you could print these eggs out of um, printed paper, like some striped paper or dotted paper, and it would just make them look like they're all decorated up. The layering on this does go pretty fast, but this Easter basket probably has the most of any of them. So I wanted to show you how to do it. But all of the wiper cards are assembled pretty much the same way. Okay, whoops. I need to scoot that one over to cover up that white. And now he's in the front, but that's all right. Okay. Then the next piece that goes on here is your grass piece. And I cut this out pretty big so that um, you're not dealing with just all these little pieces of the grass. So you're gonna put your glue on underneath the grass pieces, if that makes sense. And we're just gonna layer it right on here. Okay. If you have done the Easter basket box card, a lot of these pieces are the same. Okay, so here's our basket with the handle and we're gonna glue, put glue on the handle and on the basket. Match it all up. And then we have the little edge of our basket and you could ink this up if you wanted to, to give it some shadow. I just cut it out of a shade of brown that was a, a little darker. And then we're gonna do our bow. So we've got the back of our bow, and it's gonna go right there on the middle of the basket. And then we have the front of our bow, and I'm actually gonna put that piece on with just some little tiny foam dots, just itty bitty ones. And you don't have to, you could ink this piece and then it would still get that dimension. And it looks like I dropped a piece. Oh, come on. So we're gonna put that right there. And there should be a little square that goes right there. And I bet you anything, it's on the floor. I'm not gonna take the time to find it. I'll get it when I do the pictures. And then we have these that go on the inside of the bow. Now I know a lot of people like the really simple um, cut so you don't have so many layers. You could do this bow as a print and cut if you didn't like all the layers. I love the layers. I think it just gives it some dimension and a little bit of thickness instead of making it one flat image. So that's the basket. So let's go ahead and take our front piece and we're going to, first we're gonna fold it. So we're gonna take this front piece, I've got a little piece here that needs to be 
like that. Okay, and we're gonna fold the first score line down towards the desk or away from this. And then we're gonna score that second fold line up towards this so that when it's done, it makes a Z with the long edge in front. Okay, let's take our first embellishment panel and we're gonna just glue it onto this first area right here. And we're gonna take this embellishment panel, and again, these would could be fun print, cut from your printed paper, pattern paper, some digital paper that you have, um, so much that you could do. And then we're gonna take our long, ob weird shaped, diagonal shaped piece, Pull that off, it keeps getting in the way. And we're gonna glue it. And all of these pieces are cut so that there is a little bit of a shadow showing around the embe embellishment panels. Now we're gonna take our basket and we're gonna glue it on, matching up the handle. And I'm going to put quite a bit of glue on here because it's thick and heavy. And I want it to just stay right on there. So we're going to match up the handle first, then press it down. And then we have our little sentiment that says, you are somebody special. You could also um, take that one out and do a hand stamped or handwritten sentiment or leave it off. And this one's just going to kind of hang over the basket a little bit. So there is the front of our card that's all ready to go. Next we need our wiper piece and it is our little bunny. And he has some different pieces too. So we have his, whoops, we have his little face. And we're going to glue it on there with his ears. There we go. And then his little paws. Just go right where that cutout is. And um, there's a little bit of an edge in between there and that is perfectly fine. It's supposed to be there. Then we're gonna glue on the inside of his ears. that I cut with a lighter pink, and you can do these in any color that you want. You can have a gray bunny or a pink bunny with gray inside, whatever. Okay, next is his nose. So we're gonna glue his nose on there. And then instead of making you cut out teeny tiny eyes and teeny tiny whiskers, I'm just gonna use my Sharpie pen, and I'm going to draw two little eyes and whiskers on this side, and whiskers on that side. So, there you go. Okay, now our little wiper piece is finished and we're going to finish decorating the back of our card. So as I've showed you before, in the back of your card, there's a little G that, um, that cut out and that is your placement line. There are also two little notches right below the G and one little notch right above the G. And that is so you'll know where to glue your wiper piece. So with this, we're gonna fold it on the first score line and we're gonna fold it up towards us. And then on this second score line, we're gonna fold it down away from us. We're gonna go ahead and glue our embellishment panels on. This one with the diagonal cut goes on the outside. And our square is not really a square. It looks like it, but it's actually a rectangle. So if I turn it this way, you'll notice that it's too long for the card piece. You wanna make sure that it fits in there and it goes with about an eighth of an inch up to that score line. You don't want it right on the score line. Um, but you want it so that there's a little bit of a shadow all the way around there. 
Perfect. Okay, now we're going to take our wiper piece, and there is a score line right down there, a diagonal score line in the corner, the right hand corner. And we're going to fold that piece up along the score line. We're going to put some glue just on that triangle piece. And you want to get a lot of glue because this piece is going to be the one that moves. And then we're going to fold that down and we're going to put that triangle right over where the G is cut out in between those two notches. And right close to the score line. Press that to make sure that it is sticking really good. And then you can practice and make sure that it's going to work by just folding that over and your wiper piece gets hidden down in there. Okay, now I'm going to actually use my tape runner because it's a little bit easier. I'm going to take the front of my card and I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put tape on this outside edge right here and I'm going to do two lines so that it sticks really good and then I'm going to do it on this other edge um, and do two lines on the shorter edge. Okay. We're going to bring our back card up and we're going to match this first edge on the left-hand side with the left-hand side of the back of the card. And just press that to get a good adhesion. And we're gonna fold this card down and we're going to match those two edges just like that. Don't fold it down. And there's our little bunny. You're going to have to open and close this a few times to get it to just open perfectly. And we're going to have to practice to get that ear so that it doesn't open up in the handle. But once you get it going really good, there is your fun little Easter card. Isn't that such a fun little guy with the Easter Bunny poking out? I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss any of my videos. Go ahead and ring the bell and have a great day.